Hello friends. Uh, today we will discuss about the uh, previous year questions. So here the first question is which one of the following statement about cholera is false. So here the incubation period is for few hours and sudden onset of profuse diarrhea followed by uh, vomiting. Severe abdominal pain accompanying diarrhea and there is a rapid progressive metabolic acidosis. So here the correct option will be uh, severe abdominal pain uh, accompanying diarrhea. So usually there will be a diarrhea followed by vomiting only. Okay. So in cholera cases there won't be that much severe abdominal pain. Uh, when coming for first option, yes, the incubation period is only for few hours. That is only for two days. Okay, 24 to 48 hours only. And there is a profuse diarrhea followed by vomiting. Yes, there is a rice watery stool. As you know, uh, the peculiar term used for the, uh, the cholera. And here the main action will be like because of increase in the camp. It will be causing a diarrhea. And because of an uh, excessive fluid loss and that will be in metabolic acidosis. Okay. So here uh, the rice water stool will be there and which will be like non-bilious and cloudy watery with mucus but there won't be any blood. Okay. So because of the loss of fluid and electrolytes and there will be an acidosis will be there because of the loss of the bicarbonates. Second. So, tinea imbricata is caused by so uh, trichophyton rubrum, epidermophyton flocosum, and uh, tonsurans and concentricum. So, here the answer is concentricum. So, some of the important points you want to know here is so corporis is nothing but there is an infection of the entire body. So, PD is you know with present in the uh, the food or the toes that is called as an athletic food they can also ask like athletic food and crurus it's a groin area they are also called as an uh, jock age and barbe it is mainly in the beard region and fasciae you know uh, so apart from the uh, beard side uh, the infection of the other side in the face and imbricata is caused by concentrica. So, tinea angum, as it is seen in the nail beds, it is mainly uh, caused by mentagrophytes and the flocosum. So, manum, you know, it is mainly in the hands. So, coming for third question, the drug of choice for trichuris is uh, one, it is in mebendazole, pyrantal pomoid. Niclosamide and DEC. Yeah, it is an uh, mebendazole. So always remember the dose will be like mebendazole or albendazole. Mebendazole is 500 milligram once or albendazole it is for the 400 milligram for three doses. So always remember if they have given the option mebendazole go for that. Statement regarding the inactivated polio vaccines. Um, or true except so it is a killed vaccine it is administered parenterally and it affords a protection to non-vaccinated people and it is also called as a SARC vaccine so here the option, option is it affords a protection to non-vaccinated people uh, this is nothing but they are uh, indirectly they are saying about the herd immunity so the herd immunity it is usually by the oral vaccine that is in Sabine vaccine so here the salk it has been given uh, it is an injectable and sabine it is an <coughs> oral vaccine so coming for herd immunity it is seen in the oral vaccine so and it is a live attenuated vaccine and here it is a killed vaccine okay so that uh, it offers protection to non-vaccinated people it is a herd immunity so fifth question consider the following statements so here the first uh, the assertion is presence of coliform organism are chosen as an indicator of fecal pollution of the water. So what is the reason here they have given us the coliform organism are constantly present in the great abundance in the human intestine. So here so th these are the options they have given we can go directly for the answer that is an answer here is a B that is both are correct but. Uh, 
the R is a correct explanation of the A means see now here uh, generally the coliform bacteria it doesn't always indicate that the water has been contaminated okay because it is an or common cells which is present in our intestine so we want to do uh, the further differential coliform count to know that whether it is in pathogenic or non pathogenic so here the both the options are true okay here the both the options are true but uh, means the coliform organism are constantly present in the abundance in the human intestine so it is uh, even if it is present you want to go for the other differential count that is for the diagnosing whether it has been pathogenic or not okay so thank you friends